So hi and welcome to the channel. Today, there's no SFF PC but we will do build a PC. So actually this PC is for my day job. So I am tasked to, not really tasked, but my department wants to build an AI rig. So before we invest on anything, we have to do it on a smaller scale. So the budget is zero, currently is zero. So before I could ask for a bigger budget, I need to build this AI PC on my own. Then do a proof of concept and once it's up and running, then maybe that's the time that I could ask for a data center or an enterprise level AI server. But for now, I'll do what I can with my components. So the goal is that I will not spend any more for this computer. So with that, I'll introduce the components. So I will reuse old components basically. And most of my old components are in this motherboard. So I haven't used this for half a year now. So I have the Ryzen 7 5800X and a 32 gig RAM from Kingston. This is the non-RGB version. So I will not use this motherboard because I need two PCIe by 16 slots. Given that I could still actually use this, I could use an NVMe to PCIe by 16, but I don't have that right now. So again, the goal is zero dollars. So with that, I actually have another motherboard here, which is the Asus Tough B550M, the Gundam edition. So I think I bought three of these back in the day. The first one is already in my son's computer, previously my computer, but he took over it. The second one was already sold, so this is the third one. So I need this slot here. Let's see if I could utilize it. I'll transfer most of the things here. I do have a storage device here, which I will transfer as well. Apparently, I have another RAM here, which I completely forgot. This is a 16 gig RAM. Probably remove it. Might cause issues. Or maybe not. I could use a lot of RAM. The problem is that they are of different brand, different size, and also different timing. So this is a CL16 RAM. Let me check this one. This is a... Oh, it's good. They're both the same latency. So let's hope for the best. If this doesn't post, my first suspect will be the RAM. And with the QLED lights here, so I will know. So I need to get the storage. So remove this. So I can keep this now. Mount this SSD. So I could actually put it here, but it's more accessible here. Also, if I remember correctly, this slot is the PCIe slot that is connected to the CPU. So these two are connected to the CPU. This one is not, and also this one as well. This one is connected to the chipset first, and then it will go to the CPU. So I guess next is to mount the cooler. For the cooler, I'll use the this deep cool. I think this is the AK620. I throw away the label. However, this is the digital white. So I don't need the digital portion. I will run this on Linux anyway. I remove this um, LED. Also good, I will have less cable cutter. So I need the back plate. Oh, where's the back plate though? Oh, there's the back plate. For a minute, I was scared. There you go. For M4 mounting. Probably this one. And thermal paste. Then just mount this. Make sure that it's aligned. Then three turns at a time. One, two, three. One, two, three. So once it has mounted, it's time to mount the fans. So I plug in the fan to the fan header. At this point, I think it's ready to mount to the, I wouldn't say it's a case, but it's an open case. <laughs> So this is basically an open case. I think I bought it in Lazada. I should go here. There's some missing standoffs, particularly on this side and on this side. Should be fine. I'll get six anyway. Uh, I think this is an ATX configuration, that's why. But before I screw this here, I'll plug the CPU power first because it will be hard to reach here. Also, this is the Seasonic Platinum. I think it's a 1,300 watt power supply. Another reason why I went with this, and not inside the case, is that I don't have any more SFX power supply. So again, the cost for me should be zero dollars. Anyway, let's plug this first. So primarily, I use this for CPU cooler testing. Still an open test bench, right? My CPU cooler testing has been on hold for quite some time now. I think I got lazy. This open case doesn't have really good support, so you notice this one. Then the 24 pin. So as for the GPU, I'll be using this colorful iGame RTX 3080 Ti. Actually, this isn't really the best for AI. The best one would be the 90 class cards such as the 3090, 4090, and the 5090, though the 5090 is nowhere to be seen. 
However, uh, again, I don't want to spend any more money for this proof of concept thing. The next best cheapest would be the 4060 Ti 16GB. So if you're into AI, that would be your next option. That would be better than the 4070 and 4070 Super. If you're not into AI and you're not into crypto mining, the game here is to have more VRAM as much as you can. Given that, it's time to mount this. So it requires 3-8-pin PCIe connector. Just plug this in. The question is if I could add another slot. So the other slot is pretty much covered at this point. Not sure if I could still add one. The best layout for this is again similar to the crypto mining. Where you have the second level for the GPUs and the first level for the motherboard and PSU. This is a 10 centimeter riser, right? So I'll try to plug this here and have a 3060 at this part. Let's see if it will work. So it will be like this. Then this will be the problem though. I think this is too long. 5cm is too close. But this is too far. So actually, this is the cheapest card that you can put to your AI rig. This is the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte. So in terms of VRAM and pricing, this will be the best one. I think I will not force it to... So because it's heavily bent, it's going to the side. Might not be healthy for the GPU in the long run. See, so we're bending the PCB. Anyway, I'll try the shorter one then. 10 cm, probably too long. 5 cm, we'll try. I think this is just right. Let's see. Yeah, this is just right though. It's just right. So there's hopefully enough air here. <laughs> so last to plug are the PCIe cables. So this is my janky AI rig. That's the 3060, 3080 Ti, the so-called AK620, and the PSU. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll try this out. While testing Olama, the PC suddenly shut down, which means that there is a power issue. To troubleshoot, I removed the RTX 3060 to isolate the problem. But the system still shut down with just the RTX 3080 Ti. And then I swapped the RTX 3080 Ti with the RTX 3060, and the system became stable. After some troubleshooting, I managed to get the RTX 3080 Ti working and narrowed the issue down to the PCIe power cable connector as the culprit. And how did I confirm that? Well, I plugged in an RTX 3060 Ti and the system still shuts down. After a few more tests, I concluded that the issue was caused by a specific power cable. However, when my colleague tested the rig, the system still failed. However, his test didn't involve multi-GPU setups. So it's possible that my power supply was being pushed to its limit. For my purpose though, I think I've shown my boss what I needed. So I'll probably propose getting either a specialized machine or a cloud VM. For my personal AI exploration, I think I'll invest in a 24GB VRAM GPU soon and move it to an SFF case. I also tried playing Steam games on Ubuntu and surprisingly they actually ran fine. Even the PS5 controller seemed to work with the setup which was unexpected. Anyway, that's it for this video. Do let me know in the comments on what you think of this setup. Thanks for watching. Do like or dislike and subscribe for more unboxing, SFF builds, and benchmarks. Bye!